energy. Everything is great. Definitely, definitely. Now tell me, what what do people go through to get to America's Best Dance Crew? Uh, um, you know, the level of actually uh, auditioning. What, what do you guys see before you guys actually decide? Before we select. Right. Um, you know, what we're looking for is performers, bottom line. We want people to, you know, these guys got to be able to, to motivate somebody who's watching the television show enough to, for them to get off their butts off the couch and go make a phone call. I mean, that's the bottom line. If you don't have people vote for you, then you're right. never going to go anywhere. So right. really, that's what I'm looking for. People that will, will get us to, uh, to jump up in the air and scream or make us cry or whatever they're trying to do. Right. Now, have you had that situation where you love the performance, you think they're really sick and they're, they're dope and all that good stuff, but they don't just have the energy to, to wow the crowd or wow the audiences to... See it all the time. We see people that dance really well and can't perform all the time. I mean, and, and, and it's in our community, our dance community, it's like that because we've been doing backup dancing for so long. Right. You know, we're always in the background of the movies and we're always behind the artists. So our job is not to outshine the artists. Right. Well, now with all these dance television shows, we're getting a chance to, to be the artist. Right. We're on the forefront. We're the Gene Kellys and the Fred Astaire's of this generation. And, and it's our job to make people feel something Definitely. and to really perform. How yep. did you get involved in the ABDC? Um, well, I was a dancer for years and now I'm a choreographer mm -hmm. um, living here in Los Angeles. And um, I guess word of mouth, I'd worked with Howard and Karen Schwartz, who mm -hmm. are the <coughs> creators of the show. And I'd worked with them on Hip Hop World Championships as one of their judges and choreographer. And um, they had asked me to get involved, and then the, the casting director, Michelle McNulty, actually was a dancer from Vegas when I lived there. Oh, okay. So it was a small world, and, and you know, one thing led to another, and uh, I judged it last year, and then they asked us to be on the show and help out with the show, and we just finished directing the tour, myself and Tabitha, my oh, wife. Great. Now, have you ever had that situation happen where, like, uh, you have a crew that comes into audition, you go, oh, I know this person and you know I would say 90% of the dancers I know right and you have to be impartial about that too right yeah you do but you know there's nothing against them there's nothing that I wouldn't tell them face to face right every single crew that comes in here I give them critiques mm -hmm. and if I don't say it out loud in front of everybody if it's something more harsh then I tell them by the door but I always give them critiques and the majority of the time it has nothing to do with the dancing it has to do with the performing right. yeah or, or making something memorable that's what we're really looking for is memorable because when you think about it we see let's say we see 500 crews when it comes down to it and we're in a big meeting with executives and I say remember the crew that did this and everybody goes no well then, you weren't memorable, you'll never make it. And the majority of the time it's, remember the guys with the masks. Right. Oh yeah, remember them, they were great. Remember the uh, ones that were the, in the 80s outfits that, that did like a contemporary style. Oh yeah, remember them. So uh, most of the time it's about a memorable moment. Right. Now, with season one and season two behind you guys, mm -hmm. how hard is it gonna find those unique groups to be in season three, especially with Fanny Pack being the quick, the, the total entertainment package, Super Crew, the B-Boys, and the Jabberwockies with their elements. What's, is there a real difficulty to find well, the uniqueness? I think the difficulty is, in one sense, there's two things. In one sense, you're getting people, um, finding different types of crews is getting harder. Because the top crews auditioned season one and season two, really, are ones around the country. Now, the flip side of that is that the show is so successful that it's making people create more crews. And they're seeing the success of the show, and they're saying, I want to be on TV. I think we can do that. And they're getting four of their friends together, and they're making crews. You know, five years ago, there weren't this many crews, at least hip-hop crews in, in America, or any type of crew. There was studio-based people and the few crews from around the country and a couple b-boy crews. You know, some well-known b-boy crews, but now with the success of Jabberwockies, Super Crew, you're getting all the b-boys and the raw people coming mm -hmm. out. With the success of Fanny Pack, mm -hmm. you're getting all of the contemporary dancers coming out and saying, oh, we can do that too. With the success of Break Skate, we're seeing the skaters mm -hmm. and some alternative type of crews. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the show is really, uh, really making people step up. Right. So do you see that's the magic of the show now? It's, it's actually bringing dance to the forefront instead of people thinking of it as a... Uh, lesser element in the whole genre of entertainment? Yeah, I think, um, I, like I said, it, it is entertaining. It's probably, this time in dance, this era, is probably one of the most entertaining times. It's got this whole new style of hip-hop, which encompasses 
20 different styles within it. There's no boundaries to it. So people are taking it to the next level. And I think as an audience, everyone's saying, whoa, that is energetic. And that is, that is, that is gymnastics, that is, uh, that is uh, dancing, and that's entertainment all combined in one. Great. And that's the beautiful thing. All right. What's going on? This is Napoleon, and you're watching Pacific Rim Video.